Hey guys, I'm going to show you the easiest way to update your dashboard for your reset glitch or your JTAG and add the avatars. As you see, my dashboard is not current and I'll show you guys how to update it real quick. Alright, you're going to want to copy Flash 360 to your USB drive. I'll have a link down below. And I'm going to boot it, boot it up using Freestyle Dash. You can use XX Menu if you want. Alright, you want to press X, then A, and it'll save it in the same directory, same directory as Flash360, but I already did that. Alright, and you're going to want to copy it over to your computer. Um, I've copied it to my desktop. Let me cover up this light. I've copied over my desktop. That's right there. And you're going to want to boot up a program called XE Build. And once it's up, you want the latest version, by the way. Uh, click right here, Open. And you're going to go to your... NAND dump. It's going to load up. And this right here, uh, you're going to want to put in your CPU key. Uh, if you don't know how to get your CPU key, then you probably shouldn't even be doing this. Well, anyways, then you want to click over the download tab and go to the latest dashboard and download install dash files. And once that's done downloading, this will come up and generate hacked image and the output path that you put mine was on my desktop and then we're going to go back over to the 360 after you uh, copied your new NAND and um, put it in the, the root of the USB and I'm going to turn off my Xbox and boot Zell by pressing eject Alright, here's Zell. Let it uh, go through the first stuff that it does. Alright, and it said it found it finds your NAND update and uh, power down now if you don't want to flash and we do so we're just gonna wait till it flashes and now it's flashing the new NAND with the updated dashboard Alright, image written, shut down now. Shut down. And then we're gonna unplug for about 30 seconds. And we're gonna plug it back in. Turn it on. Press the Xbox button, go to system settings, go back to the regular dashboard. And actually when I'm here, switch back to widescreen. Alright, we're going to go system info. And there's the latest dash. And next we're going to be doing avatars. Alright, you want to take your USB drive. 
put it back in your computer. If you already had XE build already open, you want to exit and be reopen it. And on the download tab, go down and click your USB drive. And for avatars right here, make sure it's the latest one. It's got it has to match your current dash or this will mess up your JTAG and download avatar update and that mine's already downloaded and you want to click prepare drive and I'll put everything on your USB drive all the avatar files Alright, it's already copied. You want to take your USB drive out, put it back in your 360. Make sure you're on the current dash, I mean the stock dash. And update required, and you want to click yes. Alright, it just comes back on. Alright. And we have avatars again. And just to show it's still glitched. It just changes your launch to I and I. That's why I didn't uh Go back to freestyle dash, you have to reconfigure that. There you go. Hope this tutorial helped a lot of you.